Okay, in this video, I just need to show you how to um, upload a video and make, make sure that you have, you understand where things are. And then in one of the other videos, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna dial it in more for you to be real strategic. And, uh, but these are kind of the how-to videos that you have to know, that way you, you see them a few times and you pick up on them. So back in the, uh, regardless of which one you're in, you'll notice this little uh, image right there. Looks like a camera. Um, whether it's there or the Studio Classic, we'll just put that there. <clears throat> You'll notice that it's uh, in the top right corner. So we're still in the same back office, basically. But there it is. So wh what you're going to do is you just click on that. It's going to give you the option to go live or upload a video. We're going to just upload a video. And then I pre-made a very short video to uh, show you. It's a couple, just a couple seconds long. And you just, I just dragged and dropped it. You can obviously, uh, you know, find the file. All right. And then it, it uploads and this is what it defaults to. Now, I, if you remember the last video, I showed you that I have a, my default settings don't have anything in the description. They don't have any tags and it defaults to public. So if I wanted to, I could click publish right now. As soon as this video is done, this video will be live. Okay. What I would recommend doing is I would just put this as unlisted. Like if I'm trying to edit something or maybe I was in a hurry and I uploaded the video, uh, but I don't have my tags ready to go or this, um, you know, I wouldn't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the basics of what you have set up here. Okay. So what I typically do is I already pre make, uh, you know, uh, my comment stuff like, right here so I got uh, how to upload a video so what I would do is go in here and put this in and you'll notice that you can only have a hundred characters in a title which obviously I'm going to show you you don't need to do that and then I would also have my um, links and some other links in there like my Facebook page Twitter Instagram and I also put other YouTube video links in there and just a brief description okay so what I have is I got a pre-made and I just copy it and then I go over here and in my description I paste it okay and it you know it separates and stuff now here's the other thing uh, you notice there's a gap there so I just kind of pull it to the top now the one big thing that you need to know is when you put links in the description area you have to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash for the link once published to actually hyperlink hyperlink meaning you can click it and it'll take you where you don't need to go you never want to put just a link in there like www.mikehealytraining.com because it will not be a hyperlink and it will not be a clickable link so you really want clickable links okay so now that i got my description in there i'm going to put my tags tags are basically the keywords that people search for i went and copied it uh, copied some tags off a of video i'll show you how to do this in a second and i copy these the other thing is too is understand that they have to be comma separated so i typically type them out comma separate them and i'm going to again i'm going to show you in a couple of videos how to make this easy and then you go here and you paste it the other thing to understand though is you can only have uh, 500 characters in here so if you kept typing in you know different different ones different keywords so if i wanted to add another keyword in there so I could uh, type in uh, network marketing. Like uh, there's this one because I have a different because I, I have this plug in. It gives me suggestions. Network Marketing Pro. I clicked on it and it gave me a suggestion. If I type in network marketing business or let's go with success. You see it just it shows me the count, the character count. I typically give as, put as many in here to come as close to 500 as I possibly can. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I then what happens is this video is done. Uh, I got this. I got this. I get this. If obviously there's an error somewhere, you can obviously you'll see it. It'll give you an error like you know, there's too many things in here. In some cases, you can't put special characters like you can't put hyphens and things like that in a lot of these or uh, stars and stuff. So it'll 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 give you an error message or stuff. And then I click publish or done. And now this is the link. If I wanted to, I could immediately share this on any of these uh, platforms. I could email it to myself. I could embed it or I could just copy and paste this link or I can click on it and it will pull up the video that I just uploaded. And it's a 10 second video. 
This is me making a test video so that I can uh, do the training that I'm working on. And I'm um, down here in my office, and you can see this, so I'm trying to make it short. So, that so that's basically that. And then I've got it unlisted, okay? And now it's, it's published. And you can see, see how that's um, hyperlinked right there? Same thing with these. Get a free copy of my book. Somebody, I want somebody to be able to go straight to getting the links. They just, they I open it up and you see how this looks nice here. And then the other thing too, is the reason I put these YouTube videos in here and I'll probably add this, uh, I'll uh, give you some advice on that too, is you always want YouTube to see your um, kind of backlinking is what it's called, where they see more YouTube videos in there because you're driving traffic to it. Okay. Now, if for some reason I needed to edit this video, I can one edit it in the back office like I could go here and click return to editing and do it or if I'm on the video and I'm in my I'm already logged in in my account I can click ed, edit video and it will take me there to, as well to, to edit video and obviously you can see it defaults again to back to the, uh, the creator studio now the other thing too is the thumbnails down here you can see that it shows the thumbnail for me until I get a certain amount of subscribers, it won't allow me to upload a, a thumbnail yet uh, to where I can put an advanced one on here. So, you know, that's something to consider. And if I like what I see and I want to make this public, I just click on that and click public, done. And then when I click save, it's going to publish it. So anybody that's subscribed to my channel, this will be, a, a, you know, if they subscribe, it'll typically YouTube will push it out there. Okay, so that's really the, how simple it is to upload a video. You go here, you can click it, drop it, and drag it, drop it, and, and load it up there. Okay, so next video is we're going to get into some more advanced stuff and really get to the meat of this thing and uh, show you how to really uh, blow it up. So see you in the other videos. Thanks.